Well, Kelvin, thank you for joining us. Um, let's talk firstly about COVID-19 and the impact it's having on football. Obviously, it's impacting on society in general, but the impact in particular on football. And um, last week, there was at least a start date for next season agreed with the EFL. Yeah, I think that was quite well publicised. There was a, there, I think there was a choice between a couple of dates, but I think the majority of clubs, if not all of the clubs, went for the later date uh, just to give ourselves time to prepare. I think... I think one of the realities is, and 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 that that next season is going to be affected in some way, in in some ways, and uh, it's not going to be normal. It's not going to be, and uh, it's one of the things we've learned, and we'll probably, I think, fans will will may not realise as much, but we'll start to realise that it will be different, and uh, it's going to be a a slower return um, than potentially we would have hoped, but. Um, I think it's it's all around you know making sure we're safe and making you know and and we've even we've seen you know this week in terms of some government decisions in in you know qu quarantining from from different countries you know we've been affected by it we've got staff members in who are in Spain visiting family that that got caught up in that and uh, um, they've come home a bit earlier to to, to lessen the impact so it's going to be different um, I think people I think after we won promotion. I think people, we, we, we may have got caught up in the enthusiasm of everything that happened and how well we dealt with it in the first place and thought we were going to get back to normal, it'd be a normal transfer window, but it's certainly not been that. I think talking to other chairmen, I think every, a, lot of, a lot of people are experiencing that difference. We're not going to have players signed up as quickly as we normally would have. Um, we're not going to have, you know, four squads for, for a while. I think uh, pre-season is going to be a bit hit and miss for club. But one of the things we prided ourselves on over the last sort of four or five months during this process is how we've got on with it. And uh, we haven't panicked about you know, maybe not having a certain player on a certain day or we haven't panicked about this or we haven't panicked about that. And we just got on with it. And that's, that's the approach we're taking. We're going to get on with it. We know we'll be as ready as we can be at the start of the season. We'll have all the players in place. Um, and they'll be as fit as we can have them, as, as possibly fit as we can have them. But we also understand that it's going to be different and we're going to try and uh, um, on the pitch compete with, with these bigger clubs and, and, and in, in a higher league and in, in different times. So um, uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be interesting what happens, but we're going to make the best of it. Season will start, the league season will start then on September the 12th. And there is hope, realistic hope, I think, that at least a percentage of crowds will be back in stadiums in October. So um, while not there from day one, at least there is that hope that not far into next season, crowds, albeit a percentage of crowds, will be able to return. Yeah, I think, again, it's going to have such an impact. I think we've all seen, and we've not, anyone in football's known it, but... Um, any football fans known it, but I think outside world seeing it and, and you know the armchair fan is seeing it that football isn't isn't fan isn't at its best with with no fans in the stadium and uh, and that's not about income that's just about atmosphere um, and uh, you you've experienced it Gareth and James and, and some of the directors have experienced actually being at the games and um, apart from being able to hear Sammy shout at Callum or uh, you know, V shout at, at, at their player, you know, when he got sent off in the final, um, the, the only highlights probably of having having no crowds in. So so we, we I think the, the, the Football League and the authorities and the government are working towards, you know, I think there's some test clubs um, being utilised and some test events being utilised. But if I could, you know, take a look into the future and see what we're kind of thinking or what we're kind of planning, um, the September 12th being the start date, I think there might be an, an EFL Cup game prior to that. I'm not expecting um, I'm not expecting any crowds at any pre-season games, um, which is obviously you know has an impact lower down the spectrum. You know, Selby Rangers, which is always a favourite of ours, um, will be affected in terms of crowds, etc. Um, we might still have certain pre-season games, but they'll be at different times and some of the lower leagues might not be starting back yet. So we're going to look into all of that stuff. So we start back on the 12th. We expect, you know, up until October, probably without crowds. Um, at this point, we've got a League One meeting this week to discuss it a little bit further. 
Um, and then from October, we're expecting a percentage of crowds back in for the first, for the first time. Uh, what that percentage is, I think, is undetermined. I think there's anything from a range to 30 to 50 percent. Um, I would guess in the first game, it will probably be the lower end of that range. So we've got to then look at what do we do um, and, and how do we manage that and how do we, we, we get through that. Um, the conversations that have been had right now are in terms of streaming. Um, and I think it's generally accepted that, to be confirmed, but generally accepted that season ticket holders will get streaming without any additional cost. However, there will be a, a, a per match cost to, 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 to others. Um, and I think, uh, and there's some discussions about home and away games, et cetera, et cetera. But um, we would hope that it's only one or two games where season ticket holders wouldn't be allowed in. And then obviously season ticket holders would get priority, especially, you know, would probably, again, I can't commit because I don't know the detail, but we'd probably look at some sort of uh, uh, solution where, if we can't get every season ticket holder in every game, then we'll look at, you know, how long people have had season tickets, you know, but that brings up its own questions about, you know, if you had to, there was a reason for not having one last year and, but you've been one for 20 years and et cetera, et cetera. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to suit everybody, but we'll, you know, as I think there's a lot of trust in the football club right now and what, what happens and what, and the decisions that we make overall and mainly you guys in the office really, but, but, you know, there's a lot of trust around about that we will make the right decision and we'll try and do our best to, to accommodate everyone. So, again, patience is going to be needed from all of us and, and it's going to have an impact on incomes. Um, there's no two ways about that. And I, I understand the EFL, I've, I've had some conversation government-wise, maybe Premier League-wise about how do we, how do we cover that. And, and I've, I always said the impact of last season was, was, was bad, but it's, you know, but it's how long does that the impact then happen next season, this season coming up? That's I always said that you know three months ago. That's what we've got to get to, and 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 any and and what help we can get to get through that process. And and uh, there may be some ways to recover some of that with streaming and, and some advertising around that. But I'm not sure it's going to go. It's going to go. To, it's going to cover all of it. We've 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 James has been pretty sensible in our budgeting. I think. Um, and, uh, and and even the playing budget that we've we've set for Keith is is it's not dissimilar to the first season in in, in League One last year last time uh, the season we stayed up um, and uh, and we think we'll be out we'll be competitive at, you know in in that uh, I don't not, not sure you know you look at that and you, you know budget wise and I think we're going to talk about players in a bit but you look at you know. We've got to we've got to understand that the income's not going to be there. I think to begin with, and we have to be conscious of that. And 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 self and David and Mike have been talking about it. And you know, as owners, self and David have got to look at you know ways for that you know for us to to fund, to be prepared to fund that. We hope we don't have to. We hope there's a package that. And and I think you know I think the football league as a whole, as clubs as a whole, will be looking on looking at that. And and there's going to be some clubs that are going to need it more than us. So. So, you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful that we'll get there. And we're, we're actually pretty confident and hopeful that we'll get, we'll get past, you know, the next few months and, and, and it will get back to normal. We will get back to having crowds in there and it might be different. It might be masks. And, you know, I think probably, I, I, you know, again, I don't want to make statements that, that come back and bite you, but you think that masks might be, you know, required you know, when the game, when the games begin, you know, and, uh, um, but, and, and you know, the season ticket holders will have um, priority, et cetera, et cetera. So, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be, uh, there's still a lot of work to do. And, um, and uh, you know, and, and it was a tremendous feat to get ourselves through promoted to league one based on what was going on. And, uh, but so we'll, we'll, chat we'll meet the challenges i know that as a, as a club and as a staff and uh and as a fan base but we we just need to make sure that um that we know what those are what those are going for going forward despite all the uncertainty you must be delighted with the response to season tick it's been a fantastic response from supporters it even with so many unknowns to deal with the fact they've bought their season tickets in their numbers they're really getting behind the club 
Yeah, the response, again, it, it, the response um, from, even from refunds, um, you know, the amount of people that didn't, that, that gave up their refunds to help the club and to help you guys as a staff and, and et cetera. And, and, it was, and that was great to see. And then again, the response, I think people are excited about the season. I think there's some really big games, um, you know, and, and, and obviously like everyone else, you hope that you don't get, you know, if you're going to play any games behind closed doors, you don't, you know, you, you try and miss the big ones. Um, and you, that, that, that are going to come up this season. But, but, you know, again, we'll take what comes. Um, but the response has been, and as always, you know, again, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of goodwill. There's a lot of people willing us on, and there's a lot of people wanting us to do well. And, and it shows a tremendous level of trust in, in what we've done as a club, what you guys have done as staff, and what Keith and the players have done on the pitch. So all in all, it's, it's incredibly positive.